guys, the Tesla Cybertruck has been unveiled. It's here. Well, not physically. Physically, it's still three years away. According to the Tesla website, the guidance is for late 2022. And presumably that's for US markets as well. Now, I'm not sure if this is Elon on purpose under promising in order to give us a pleasant surprise as is increasingly looking like being the case with the Model Y, which looks like it may be nine to 12 months early, or it could be late, similar to the Roadster, which has been delayed. Who knows? Well, one thing that we know is we can put all the speculation to bed about pricing, about looks, about specifications, because we know all that now, which is absolutely fantastic and I can't wait to share it all with you. Just take this quick little break to subscribe and press the notification bell so you can get alerted to videos like this as and when they come out. I'm Pete and you're watching Ahead of the Curve. So what did you think? Do you like the way it looks? Do you like the design? Elon didn't rightly so warn prior to the unveiling that this wasn't going to be to everyone's taste. I'm sure there's going to be people that will take a while to come around to what really is a fairly avant-garde design, fairly avant-garde aesthetic. Look, I'm sure there's going to be people that will never like it. I hope you like it because I absolutely love it. And please let me know in the comment section down below what you think of it. I'll be really interested. I hope you like it. I, I love it. I love the way it looks from side on, from the profile angle. Love the way it looks from behind. Love the, that mono light from the front. I, I, I love the way it looks from above. The only angle we haven't seen it from is from underneath. Now, the great and the really exciting thing about Tesla is, unlike a lot of legacy car makers, they don't get all carried away with some of these concept conceptual designs which never see the light of day, which never make it to production. One thing that we can be fairly sure about is that the final production car is going to look fairly similar to the way it looks at the moment. And look, uh, in terms of, let, let's talk about the dimensions um, to begin with. So Elon wasn't shy in any way of pitting this right against the best selling car not the best-selling pickup truck, not the best-selling truck, the best-selling car in the US, which is an F-150. You can just imagine the amount of CO2 this thing spews out. And, you know, there's obviously heaps of them. It's the best-selling car. So he, he said, look, you know, we can't address climate change. We can't address sustainable transport without having an electric pickup truck option. And um, can't wait till this thing comes out in um, in three years' time. But in terms of the F-150, the dimensions are going to be no larger than an F-150 in terms of the width, the length, etc. But he said that they've been, through good design, been able to achieve a lot, lot more from the inside of the cabin in that a lot of the mass has been put on the outside of the vehicle to give it a tough exoskeleton as he put it and this is a tough truck make no mistake about it they took a sledgehammer to the door put it dented i mean that's that's impressive now you've got a feel for the bloke they did do a test of the bulletproof glass um and they showed some video uh where they were actually shooting um the the so this is not the glass, this is the doors, the way they were shooting the doors, uh, which are made out of cold cold rolled stainless steel. Um, so unlike the Model 3, which is aluminium, etc. So cold rolled stainless steel, pretty, pretty damn tough. Now, as I said, you got a feel for the bloke. They did a test with ball bearings, uh, not ball bearings, this heavy heavy lead balls they look like and they dropped it on a regular glass and showed it's shattering and that was from a short distance and then they went up on a ladder and used a much bigger ball and showed that the glass didn't um didn't move um, but then Elon said to Franz he said throw the ball um, and I'm not sure if this was planned or if he was just in the moment and being spontaneous and he said throw the ball against the window and um, they did and the bloody thing shattered so um <laughs> that's probably how he felt at the time a bit shattered but um you know look he did say this is still a work in progress <laughs> and um actually he didn't say that he said yeah it probably needs some improvement um so look 
you know, if you're watching the, the media, um, no doubt that's going to be taking centre stage. No doubt. I, I, I can't imagine there's going to be one story without the reporter mentioning, um, you know, the, the broken glass. And unfortunately, it was fairly early on in the presentation. So most of the presentation in the background, both of the windows are, um, are, are cracked or, or shattered. Yeah, but anyway, um, you know, these things happen. So let's talk about some of the specs. Um, it's going to have adaptive ride height, as we knew it, it would, and it's going to have adaptive cushioning as well, which is um, quite interesting, which is, um, which is great. Um, the payload will be 3,500 pounds. That's about 1.6 ton in, in metric terms. Um, it's going to tow 140,000 pounds, which is 63 ton. As I said in the previous video, what a vehicle can tow and what it's rated at are two very different things. Now, I'll put, to, put up a table which is going to go through the three different models. The first one starting at 40,000 and the top model at 70,000 US. And I've put together some conversions into Australian dollars as well. So um, let me pull that up on my iPad here and it should be coming up on your screen now as well. Okay, let's go through that. So here's all the specs. So as you can see, three models. The first one is a single motor rear wheel drive. The price is 40,000 US. Now, what I've done is there's a Model 3 long range, which is roughly about 40,000 US. And we know exactly how much it costs in Australia, which is $86,000 roughly, or $98,000 on road. So that gives us a good comparison. Obviously, this is going to be three years away and exchange rates may do whatever exchange rates may do in that period of time. But what we know now and based on the situation at the moment, this is the best guide. Now, this starting range of roughly about $100,000 Australian on road, will give you about 250 miles of range, or which is about 400 kilometers. And actually, Elon did say that it's going to be at least 250, and on all the specs on the website, it has 250 miles plus, which is more than 400K, which is you know fantastic for a starting model, that's for sure. It will do zero to 100 in six and a half seconds, which isn't slouchy. Uh, top speed of 110 miles or 180 kilometers an hour. The payload, 3,500 pounds, which is equivalent to about 1,600 kilos. The tow rating is about 7,500 pounds, which is 3.4 ton. Now that's huge. Um, we have a Lexus, which is essentially a 200 series uh, Land Cruiser, which is unless you go to the F-150s and the F-2, you know, um, it's pretty much one of the biggest towing vehicles you can get. We've got a three-ton uh, caravan. That's Australia anyway, without getting into the Rams and, you know, all these massive um, US uh, pickup trucks. So even the starting um, the starting model's got a huge towing capacity. We'll pretty much tow any caravan in Australia, that's for sure. Um the second uh, cab of the rank is the dual motor all-wheel drive. So like I said, for 40000 the the starting option, you, you're not getting much. You're only getting a single motor and only a rear-wheel drive. So you're not actually getting a four-wheel drive. The second option is a dual motor all-wheel drive. will cost 50000 US, which translates to about $95,000 Australian or about $108,000 on road. Now, just so you know how I did this conversion, there's a Model 3 Performance, which is about 50,000 US, which translates to 95,000 Australian or 108,000 on road. Now that's without the full self-driving option or, or any other extras. In terms of the range, 300 miles now uh, at least, which is over 480 kilometers. Now starting to get up there, that's pretty much the range of a Model 3, the long range or the long range performance is about 500 kilometers that's real range or about you know that that's if you're driving it fairly fairly fast so it's a little bit less you can get to about 600 kilometers with with the model th model, model three uh long range acceleration in under four and a half seconds not bad 
Um, top speed, 120 miles, 190 kilometres. Payload, the same, 1,600 kilos, 1 1.6 tonne, or about 3,500 pounds. Tow rating, 10,000 pounds of 4.53 tonne. That is huge, huge. The top um, model is going to be the tri-motor, so three motors, all-wheel drive, $70,000 US, which translates, so there's a Model S, which is um, about $70,000 US, translates to $125,000 Australian or about $152,000 grand on road. The range is going to be over 500 miles uh, or over 800 kilometres. That is massive. 800, so I'm presuming this thing's going to have a 140, 150 kilowatt hour battery. Now the speed is under 2.9 seconds. That is fast for a for a for, for a SUV or well, what is it? It's a Ute for a for a, we don't know what it is. It's a hybrid between a Ute and a and a and a SUV. But um, yeah, top top speed of 130 miles, 210 kilometers. Same payload, about 1.6 ton. Tow rating, 14,000 pounds, 6.35 ton. That is, I mean, that's, what is, I mean, if you compare that to some of our, what do we have here, Tritons and Hiluxes, etc. I mean, they will tow, the tow rating is about two, two and a half ton. There's some questions as to whether you should actually tow something that heavy with it. Um, but anyway, um, this is three times that much. I mean, you know, we're not talking 10, 20%. We're talking 400%. I mean, that's, that, that's huge. So, um, yeah, really impressive uh, specs. Uh, let me just quickly go through my notes here. What I've just been quickly noting down things. Um, so autopilot's going to be standard. Full self-driving is going to come with it. As I said, uh, about $8,500 additional for the full self-driving. Um, that is... Uh, as of today and you can order the car you can pay a hundred and fifty dollar fully refundable deposit that's a hundred and fifty dollars australian or hundred dollars us um and they will reserve your pricing for full self-driving as well if you check that option i think it'd be absolutely mad not to check that option by the way but um yeah look everyone's got their own opinions um in regards to that more than happy to to hear yours um, so look, um, yeah, so one more uh, thing that I wrote down and that's storage, about 100 cubic feet of storage, which is about 30 cubic meters. Now, as far as specs are concerned, that's about it. I, I won't uh, dribble on any longer, but look, I hope you I hope you like the way it looks. I hope you like what, what, what it's all about. I, I hope you like the idea of it being a tough truck. You know, the fact that it's going to have um, you know, 240 volt outlets, so you can, um, or 110 or 220, you know, in the US, so it'll be 230 or 240 volts here in Australia, so that you can plug anything into, into the car, even if you're nowhere near the grid. I love that it's going to have, um, obviously, air suspension, and with it, obviously, you'll be able to plug in your air tools, as it will have a heavy-duty um, air compressor on board. I'm presuming it's going to be heavy-duty, because everything about this truck, by the looks, the looks of things, is going to be heavy-duty. Um, very exciting. Um, I'm sure there's going to be more footage um, the, of the truck driving around, because Elon did say that after the presentation, everyone that was there would get a chance to drive the truck around and uh, and sit in it and, and all the rest. So can't wait to find out um, all those details. Wish I was there. Um, but um, yeah, hope you, hopefully you're as excited as I am. Um, if you are, if you've enjoyed this video, if you got some value out of it, please do subscribe. Please press the notification bell so you get alerted to new videos as they come out. Please feel free to share this with your friends, etc. Pass it on, share the love. And until next time, I'm Pete. You're watching Ahead of the, ahead of the Curve. <laughs> stay safe, stay sustainable, and stay ahead of the curve. Ciao.